I mean, these, these, these marine mammals depend on sound. What's going to happen? The Wild Coast faces a massive assault on its entire marine ecosystem. From the 1st of December 2021, Shell and Shia Water Geoservices plan to undergo a seismic survey of the Wild Coast. The search for oil and gas will take five months, stretching over an area of 6,000 kilometers squared. Seismic surveys are carried out to investigate subsea geological formations. This involves directing sound energy towards the seabed using up to 48 air guns towed by a vessel. The sound energy is reflected back to the surface in the hopes of detecting crude oil or gas. The only cause for concern is that these blasts will blast continuously every 10 seconds, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for 5 months straight. With each blast, at over 200 decibels, it can be compared to that of a nuclear bomb. A lot of concern around um, the public knowledge that's gone out. Uh, today's dispatch about seismic surveys mm, mm, planned mm. for December. The attributes, the effect it has, there's obviously a physical effect. Um, examples being tissue damage to animals, particularly like the mammals. Mm -hmm. It can also happen with the other, other smaller creatures. There can be temporary, even permanent hearing loss that's been recorded. There's also the stress, and stress changes the body, body physiology, and that obviously can affect things like growth and reproduction. And stress can also, like with humans, result mm. in death and wild calves, they get separated from their mothers um, because of the high noise level. Yeah, and I mean, what's suckle. happening now? Yeah, they just don't suckle. So those are th three aspects that are, you know, pretty disturbing that can take place out there. The Wild Coast faces a massive assault on its entire marine ecosystem. Shelley's not playing uh, fair open cards with us. They put out a lot of propaganda and self-congratulating stuff about how they've been uh, within the law and everything they're doing is so right. But if you dig a little deeper, you'll find that there is no research that they can show us to prove that what they're going to do with those air guns uh, does not cause major devastation and damage to marine life and marine ecosystems. So there are five marine protected areas in the area known as the Transcar Block where these surveys are going to take place. The MPAs protect a vast spectrum of biodiversity, once off underwater features, ecological transition zones, Fish and cetacean species ranging from critically endangered to vulnerable, including endemics like the red steenbrass. Scan protection from the known effects of seismic blasting on marine life at every level, from zooplankton to turtles, dolphins and whales. No press releases have been made to indicate that in any way shell or shear water have the slightest concern about their activities in this area. Shell simply must be called to account. So. Where do we go from here? We stand up for what we believe in. So when you're standing here, everything that you see is protected. And if you explain to others why this is so outrageous, we can grow a groundswell of outrage. A groundswell of outrage that can be heard. That can be heard by the ministers. And you've got social media, that's what it's for. This is what it's for. It's not for people to fight about stupid things and to divide people. This is social media's biggest thing. Our planet has two lungs. One is green, the other is blue. And those things, those marine protected areas are for this very reason. To stop these kinds of, of operations from happening. They belong to us. Only South Africa and I think they should be protected. This should be a world heritage site. This should be one of the natural wonders of the world and should be so closely guarded. This seismic blasting was stopped in the Atlantic. It was stopped. It's the one thing that you need to stand up for um, in your lifetime. It's, uh, it's the Wild Coast.